This is Donald Kinney reporting for WSHC 89.7 Shepherdstown. I've had the opportunity to interview Mr. Rick Barney of Rick's Karate, located uh, just off the Taylor Station exit on 81, alongside uh, Terry Joe's Dance Studio, uh, who is his sister and an accomplished dancer. And uh, he had a lot of interesting things to tell me about his career, how he began, and running a successful martial arts school. Here is just a small portion of the interview. My sister said, why don't you start teaching uh, some private lessons maybe and trying to, to do something in the little studio over there. So, you know, I had this, uh, a kid come to me and, I, and uh, I trained him maybe for want to say six weeks maybe and then after six weeks of training and loving it and enjoying it I went from man let's let's uh let's see if we can get this started and next thing I know I had five from there probably in the first six months I got five students and then doing Terry's recital that first year and going out there on that stage and doing what I did myself man they come 10 15 20 25 next thing I know I got 40 students I taught for Mr. Wickham. I can remember teaching everybody of all different ages. When I was 12 years old, I can remember teaching in his school. Our, our system, you know, it's white, yellow, green, blue, brown. Right before black, I let you start coming up and warming up the kids, doing exercises, warming everybody up, and then starting to try to help teach. And that's what Mr. Wickham did with me. He let me start teaching at Brown Belt, and look what it became. So I got to start early. So, you know, one of these days while I look in 20 or 30 years and say one of my students opens up a school, I hope so. That'd be great because then they can say they got the experience of, hey, I, I reached back a long, long time ago and got to teach when I was a brown belt. And when I was 10 years old, I'd already trained for three years in the martial arts. So three years in the martial arts uh, with, we'll say, 2020 vision. Okay, which which three years, you know, I mean, you obtain stuff in three years, of course you do, but I'm still a kid. But at 10 years old, I developed what is a, a disease in my eyes called Stargardt's disease. And Stargardt's disease is uh, damage of the retina, as in both eyes. And, you know, of course, you know, I find out um, in third grade, I was already a black belt in karate. And what, during when I went through all, all my problems with, with Stargard's disease at 10 years old, uh, Mr. Wickham and Miss Shelley, which, you know, are karate teachers, but are the people that they were, I'm spending, you know, months and months and months in John Hopkins. That's where I end up going because of it, because they kept developing or like running tests and stuff on me. Like, man, what, what's wrong? And, 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 you know, trying to, trying to see what's going on with me. They, they come to John Hopkins and sit there with me the whole time. And th through, through, my, through my disease and sit there with me the entire time and uh, were, were there for me, you know. And, and it made me think to myself, you know, as I grew older and then when I developed and got this opportunity to run a school, man, and, and am I putting everything I have into the kids because I asked myself why? Look what I was going through and look what was wrong with me and my instructors were right there for me. You see my point on that. And I will say when I, after I took the eye exam in third grade and failed it drastically and I was like, karate, 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 karate was everything to me. I mean, it was all I knew, it was all I wanted to do. My father had to come in and look at me and say, we're gonna have to yank you from karate until they figure out what's wrong with you. And that's the time, the first three months that I spent in John Hopkins is when Miss Shelley and Mr. Wickham came and they spent time with me. So, yeah. But that, you know, I, I say today, anybody, man, that I teach, and, and not that I wouldn't, but, but I always go back to Mr. Wickham and Ms. Shelley, they did not have to come to that hospital, man. That's not their job. You understand what I'm saying? They did not have to come to that hospital and spend time with me and go through all those hard times that I was going through. I'll do it for anybody, man, because of that. I'll never forget that ever for as long as I live I will never forget that ever you know other than karate I I excelled I was e extremely you know in football and basketball played five years of each one started both teams starting starting defense starting offense starting on both both everything and a lot of people ask me questions a lot of times like well how'd you play football how'd you catch that ball how'd you put the bat the ball on the hoop and things like that karate <laughs> Karate, 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 karate. Um, I had a guy come up to me in a tournament one time after I'd already beat him really bad on the floor, and he walks over to me and he says, "Man," he said, uh, "You weren't looking at me, man, when you were when you were hitting me." 
and he couldn't understand why. And then I sat down and told him, and, and he he couldn't believe it. <laughs> I'll be honest. When I went to tournaments, I never signed a paper. I never put down I have something wrong. I went in normal. Mm -hmm. Nobody ever knew. Nobody ever knew. I never told nobody, man. It was always top secret. I'd go in, sign you know, sign the papers up, get everything done, step in the ring, and whoop some butt. And I'm 40 years old, so. Uh, you know, 30 years of having Stargardt's disease, 17 of them though, man, I, I've had this karate school. And, and, and I, I, really, I really look at having this school as being my, my savior. It's been just the biggest blessing in the world with I don't know where, you know, other jobs that are out there for me, I, you know, what, what's out there for if I, if, what, if I couldn't do it, you know? So it, it's, it's been a true blessing. You, you, you look at something that happened to me at 10 years old, but then you look what I have, and you, um, you, you look what it's made me do. So a lot of people take a disability or they take something wrong with, with anything, and, and then they, they can just say, well, I'll never do this or never do that. I, I just disagree, man. Look what you, look, look, and not in an arrogant way, I'm a very humble person, but look what, I, look what I've accomplished. Look what I've done with the sight that was given to me. So, you know, I mean, you go from all the way up to 10 years old, 20-20 vision, next day, and if it's gone, your vision's taken, you could either just give up or keep going. I really, truly will tell you that the three years of karate, that what I was taught, never give up, confidence, passion, you know, keep going, keep going, there you go. That's a, that's a lesson to be learned right there. And that's why I'll never look at someone and say, you can't do it, because they can. Thank you for listening. Once again, that is uh, Mr. Rick Barney of Rick's Karate, just off the Tabler Station exit on 81, alongside Terry Joe's Dance Studio. You can check them out on Facebook. Thanks for listening. I'm Donald Kinney with 89.7 WSHC. Mm -hmm.